This is a vintage cupboard that I picked up for very little money. Um, and it's going to be used as a housing to house my gas meter and my water stop clock in the corner over there. So I found this and I've removed the back and the shelves and I've done a little bit of cutting out here for the pipes that go to the gas meter obviously and I've also got um, a water pipe for if I want to have a radiator fitted and cables for a socket. So this cost me about, I think it's about 40 pounds and so it's going to be a lot cheaper than making one, a lot easier and it's going to look original, it's going to look as though it's always been there hopefully. It did have glass um, panels here and the cover fell over because the doors were heavy and I opened the doors and left them open and because it's got no back on it and no shelves it fell forwards and one of the, one of the glass panes smashed. But I'm quite happy about that. I wasn't happy about it at the time, but I'm happy that it happened because I wasn't happy about having glass in the doors, especially low height. This is going to be on the floor. Um, it would always have been vulnerable to being smashed, not not twice and being smashed. So it's better that it happens now before I've actually renovated the cupboard. And also, it's going to mean that I can put uh, some fabric into these uh, panels, into these holes and to match the fabric that I'm going to use, that I will use, I haven't bought it yet, I don't know what to use, for the um, little the cupboards in my kitchen unit over there to make it a little bit more uh, harmonised. Um, above here on the wall I will have a bit of probably mosaic at the back or some, some kind of tiling splashback and then above that I've got another cupboard, it's a taller cupboard than this one uh, it's going to be uh, fitted to the wall above it. So in, in the end, it's going to be quite a high unit. I think the tall one, the tall cupboard, the cupboard above, I didn't pay for. Somebody gave it to me. So it's going to end up really, really cheap. Hopefully, it's going to look really good. Um, and I'm utilising the height of this kitchen. It's got really tall ceilings. Um, I'm not utilising... I've not, I've not focused on the circumference of the room, which is what you normally do when you have a fitted kitchen, but then you end up with lots of worktop running around the circumference of the room, but then you, you're limited with the, the height that you can use because you can't, especially in corners, if you've got a fitted uh, kitchen going around the corner, you'll find that you can't use that corner, the, the height, the space, and often you can't even get, you really utilise the cupboards, low down cupboard space either, um, so that corner will end up uh, being wasted, um, so all that space will be wasted, so you end up it's wasting a lot of height space in the kitchen when you have a fitted kitchen, um, so I'm, I'm not going to have a fitted, it's not going to have a run all the way around, so I'm going to be able to go right up to my corners um, and stand in front of the, 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 the wall uh, the corner and I'm going to be able to reach up and reach right down and get right into the corner so it's going to utilise the height really well um, and emphasise the height as well it's going to make the room seem taller. I had to cut a bit more of the cupboard, cupboard away to make it fit around the pipes and the gas meter. I ended up securing the cabinet to the wall, gluing it all around so that um, it's very solid. I did try painting the cabinet with some orange paint but it ended up more like tinted varnish so I gave up on that, sanded it down and uh, painted it beige. to fit nice and snugly. Um, I filed a little bit off at the back to make sure that it was nice and snug against the wall and I sanded the bottom cupboard down again and that's the top cupboard uh, resting on some pots of paint because I can just so that I can check the height that I want it to be. I, I put um, a length of baton on the wall, secured on the wall. Um, at the moment there's just a 
bracket there but I didn't actually use that I used a baton uh, some baton um, and now I'm going to lift up the cabinet and rest it on the baton and mark through some a couple of metal brackets that I attached to the top that will hold it against the wall so the, the baton will take the weight and the brackets will keep the cupboard against the wall nice and tight. This is how you fit a cabinet against the wall when you don't have anyone to help you. <laughs> take the cupboard off the wall and drill where you've marked and put some plugs in and put the cabinet back up again and put screws in and tighten it against the wall. Here I am sanding down the cabinet doors for the top cabinet. I ended up painting the doors the same as the cabinet. I plastic wrapped the shelves with oak look uh, plastic. Don't normally like plastic, but it did help the shelves uh, co coordinate with my oak worktop. And that's it for now. I will show you what it looks like when I've made the curtains. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and leave me a comment to say hello. Thanks for watching.